there. I'm Molly Idol, the creator of Flora and the Flamingo, T-Rex, The Mermaid Tales Pearl and Coral, and most recently, the illustrator of We Believe in You, a picture book written by Beth Ferry that includes so many of my favorite wild animals. I created all the designs for the book using simple shapes, and I thought today we could draw a pair of my very favorite animals from the book, a pair of pandas. All we need are some simple shapes, a piece of paper, and a pencil. Are you ready? Let's draw. Step one. Step one, here we go. So we're drawing giant pandas. We're going to start by drawing two tiny triangles. Here's one, one, two, three sides. Now just touching that one, an even tinier triangle. That's step one. Step two. Now, just around that tiniest triangle, we are going to draw a small circle, which will be the muzzle of a baby panda bear. The triangle is his nose. And around our larger triangle, a larger circle for the muzzle of our mama panda bear. Step three. Now we're gonna draw an even larger circle, and this circle will be the head of our mama bear. It's a circle that goes down through the circle we drew for the muzzle, and in fact, it just touches the triangle that is the mama bear's nose there. You see that? It goes around and through and just touches there. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the baby bear, starting at the corner of that triangle of his nose, around and around for a head. Two triangles, two small circles, now two larger ones. Step four. Now we're going to draw an even bigger shape, the body of our mama bear, which is going to be the shape of a large egg. You know how eggs are wider at the bottom? Well, so are panda bears. So a large egg, Oops, sorry about the camera wobble there, that goes up above the circle of the head through that shape and back down a nice big panda bear body, and now a smaller egg for our baby bear. Step five. Now we're gonna start adding in some details. We're going to draw an oval here for one panda bear ear, and a second oval for another ear, and a third oval for the shape of the markings around the panda bear's eyes. And now we're going to do the same on our baby bear. We've got one oval ear, two oval ears, and one baby panda eye patch. Step six. Now we are going to give our panda bear some legs. We are going to start with a raindrop shape with the round end of the raindrop, <laughs> starting at the round end of our panda bear, with the pointy end being his paws, just like that one big round raindrop. It's our panda bear's back leg, and a smaller raindrop with the round end inside the egg, and the pointy end making the front paw for our mama bear. Now an even smaller raindrop for the front leg of our baby panda bear there. And for his back leg, oh, not another raindrop, no, but an oval with another oval inside that will be his paw. Step seven. Now step seven is a little different. We're not going to add any new shapes, but we are going to connect our shapes. Have you ever done a connect the dots puzzle? Well, this is very much the same, but instead of connecting dots, we're going to connect shapes. 
We're going to start at the top of our mama bear's head, bringing it down that circle to her muzzle, and then go back up from the tip top of our egg and connect the top of the egg shape to the top of the circle of the mama bear's head. And just like that, we've created the top of her neck. Now we can soften that triangle a bit for her nose. And now connect that triangle to the edge of the circle of her muzzle to the circle of her head. And then connect the egg to her head. And just like that, now we've created the bottom of her neck. Now we can trace around a bit of our raindrop shape for her front paw, sort of make that more definitive. And do the same thing from the bottom of the egg, up and around. And it's all right if you leave it a little sketchy. Up and around for the back of our panda bear here. Up, up, up the egg and all the way around. Now we have a body. And we can do the same thing defining our back leg there. Bring that to a nice point. Up and around our raindrop. That's lovely. Now if we connect the bottom of the neck to the point of our front raindrop, look what we've done. Just that one line connecting those shapes makes a back paw on the other side of her body. And connecting the point of the back raindrop to that gives her a panda bear tummy. <laughs> now we can connect that oval to our line for a nice back ear. If you want, you could draw one more shape inside that oval and make an inner ear, which is nice. Sharpen my pencil a bit. Now you can come in and make the shape of the markings around her eyes just the way you want. I want mine a little flatter on the bottom and rounder on the top. And then about halfway up, if you add a little line, it's like adding eyelashes. Her eye is closed. Just like that. Okay. That takes care of the markings on her face. But you know, their markings around their arms go all the way up to their back. So if we connect our front raindrop, just follow the curve around from our raindrop up, up, up to the top of the egg that takes care of the markings across her back. And we can come back and color those in later. Sharpen again. Now we can do the same thing for our baby bear. Connect the circle of the muzzle to the top of the head, circle of the muzzle to the bottom of the head, to the tummy. There we go. All the way down and around. And across the top, do the same thing, connecting the top circle to the circle of the body. Gives him a lovely round bear cub body. Now we can connect that front raindrop to the top of the head, just like we did with the mama bear for the baby bear's markings that go across his back from his paw and define that back leg. Nice, and a little foot, a little paw. Sharpen my pencil again. And now we can add that extra oval in if you want for the inside of his ear and attach the back ear. And we can do the same thing with his eye patch we did with the mama bears and add in the eyelashes. There you go. Step eight. 
Now that we've connected all the shapes, we can do some fun things. We can start coloring to really make our panda bears look like panda bears because it's their markings that really makes them stand out. So we're gonna start coloring gently with little circles wherever we want to make our panda bears black of their black and white markings. So two ears and we're going to color in that eye patch finally. There we go. And if you color in a second time, you can make some parts darker, just like we did with the ear. And color in that cute little nose. She's really starting to look like a panda bear now. We'll color in the legs. Just like that. That's the leg on the back side of her body. And we can color in now the back leg on the front side of her body. It's all right to use bigger strokes when you color in a bigger shape. It helps if you keep everything going in one direction and then you can change direction. It'll help you keep your tones nice and even. And I'm not pressing really hard. Still just making those little circles. And it's all right if you go outside the lines. That is what the eraser of your pencil is for. You can tidy things up. brush away any pencil shavings or eraser shavings. Now let's color in those front markings that we made. That front raindrop plus the lines that connected the raindrop of her front leg all the way up to the top of that egg shape that we drew in the very beginning. We can go over that again to darken it up a bit. Now that looks like a panda bear. We can do the same thing for our baby bear. One little nose. And around the eyes, and the back ear, and the front, and that inner ear circle. Now we can color in that front raindrop all the way up, following those lines that we made, going all the way up, just like with the mama bear. the back leg. This is the time you can add in some extra details too. We could add in paw print on that little foot. One, two, three, four. There we go. And let's give them something to share. Panda's favorite food is bamboo. So let's draw a little bamboo sprout. All we have to do is draw one line and then two lines off one side, two lines off the other, and we have one little bamboo shoot for our panda pear. And that's it. You have drawn a pair of pandas. Well done done.